there's always two sets of examples, right? There's that people often think, first of all, externally, just, okay, do I make more money? right? Is the, is the business more black than red this year? Is it, do I get that contract? And again, we don't know exactly what God is promising in the external realm, because as you all probably know, God's one of God's favorite way of growing our businesses is by growing us. And so he does like to work internally as well as do things for us externally. But I think just personally, an example that I'll share on both levels, first externally, um, several years ago, about two and a half years ago, our daughter unexpectedly passed away. Um, and right after that, I just felt the Lord saying, you know, just lay down these private clients, just work here, just work there, just honor your grief, take space. And of course, as somebody who'd worked very hard on building her business all these years, I was like, but what about, but what about, but what about is just trust me in this. Trust me in this. And so for the two fiscal years and two and a half years since then, every year I've made more money, a lot more money than I have in previous years. I've worked less. And to the point where I get to it, and I look at my account and I'm like, I have no idea where this money came from. I just, I really don't. And he's like, well, I mean, we could, you know, pick it apart and figure it out. And I'm like, I, I really don't want to know. It's just fun. It's just fun to see God said, do less, trust me more. Don't worry about it. And then internally, I hear this again and again, as God is raising up prayer powered entrepreneurs literally around the globe, is that worry, hurry and stress that we tend to carry feeling like it all depends on us and the weight is on our shoulders just disappears and people stop them in their companies or their friends and family and say, how is it you can enjoy the weekend when you know you still have so many things to do? Why is it you're not worried about that when it used to drive you crazy? But it's the power of knowing that God has it and learning to see how he always faithfully provides. 